What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So this is going to be a little bit different, uh, because it's a major discovery in history probably. So, uh, we all know that there's definitions which defines, uh, you know, based on humans, uh, what something is. So right here it says, grass is a vegetation consisting of typically short plants with long narrow leaves growing wild or cultivated on lawns and pasture and as a forward for crop. And, well, first I'm going to show you some grass that we typically see. So here's some grass. As you can see, you know, you got your plant, which is said here. It's a ve uh, vegetation consisting of typically uh, short plants with long, narrow leaves. So this is the plant, and it has long, narrow leaves, right? Well, you got to remember here, long and narrow is an opinion-based statement. So, so that part right there where it says long, and narrow leaves, you can really decide what, you know, long and narrow means. You could say the world is long and narrow. You could say the universe is long and narrow. It's a completely opinion-based statement, long and narrow. Um, and you may be thinking, um, what does lawns mean? Well, you may be, th um, thinking, oh, um, well, how does grass grow on tree, tree branches if, um, it said it grows, uh, on lawns? Well, lawns doesn't mean dirt. It doesn't mean an area of dirt where grass is on. Lawns mean an area of short, mown grass in a yard, garden, or park, okay? Which trees are in a yard, garden, or park, all right? So you got to keep that in mind. So, it doesn't make sense to say all this and then say this, which is something... Here, I got to get better light in here. Let's say that this... Which is something I found off a tree. As you can see, it's completely a plant. It's not wood. I'll even break it. See, it's not wood that's like snapping or anything. Say a plant. Alright. So you can see here that it's a plant with what I would say is long, narrow leaves. Because you gotta remember, it's a opinion based statement. So I would say this is long, and narrow. So. This is grass, and it you see this growing on trees all the time. And don't uh, get me started on, oh, there's genetics in grass that are different from this. It didn't say anything about genetics in the definition. Uh, and, it's, and as you can see on the definition, it just, all it says is dictionary. So you got to keep in mind, this this is the dictionary that we all use all the time. So, basically, based on us, based on us humans, grass grows on trees. Because I would say that this is a plant with long, narrow leaves. Based on the definition, though. Um, so, yeah. Because, like, I mean, obviously you would say, oh... This grass is, you know, it's smaller. And the the leaves are more long and narrow than this, right? You, you could say that. That's a fact. But it's an opinion-based statement to say uh, something is long and narrow. So you can say this is long and narrow. And you can, at the same time, you can say this is long and narrow. It's completely up to you. You know, I I can con if I want to, I can consider anything long and narrow. I can consider the sun long and narrow. It really it's really up to me. Is and it's up to you, you know. You can say, "Oh, that's not grass cuz it's not long and narrow." So, but to me, uh this is grass and this is grown on trees. Uh just to prove it to you one more time, this is not wood. I can't see I can't really break it and you can see it's like green and stuff. 
So, yeah. Grass grows on trees. I expect, I don't expect this video to get too many views. But it's really not about that. It's about the discovery that uh, I have made that no one else has made. No one else has really thought of this, about that definition that maybe it's incorrect and maybe humans want to change that. But for now, grass grows on branches. And what I want to call this theory that I've come up with is the growing grass theory uh, by Ian Marr. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Probably won't be talking about uh, stuff like grass. It's just something I wanted to ramble about because, you know, I wanted to be the first one. I didn't want anyone to come along and steal my idea, my theory, uh, which is the grass growing theory, and say and take credit for it when I'm the first one who thought of it. So anyways, guys, be sure to share this, this amazing discovery. Pretty recent, actually. A lot of big discoveries happen happened back then, but this is 2018 stuff. And anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.